Hello friends, welcome to my channel, DLD Quest. Before you start watching the video, please subscribe to my channel, DLD Quest. Today in this video, we will discuss about the topic, Programmable Logic Devices, that is PLDs, from Digital Logic Design or Digital Electronic Subject. PLDs, what is meant by PLD? PLD means it is an integrated circuit, which is made up with array of AND gates and array of R gates. And what is meant by programmable? Programmable means the process of applying the input or information to these array of logic gates is called as programming. Based on the type of ARS which has programmable feature, the PLDs are divided into three types. The first one is programmable read-only memory, that is PROM. Second one is programmable array logic, PAL and programmable logic array that is a PLA. Now let us discuss about programmable read-only memory PROM. In this we have a ROM device. ROM means read-only memory. It is a permanent memory device. We can't alter the or modify the data in this ROM. If the ROM has programmable feature, then it is called as a programmable read-only memory. That is the PROM is a programmable logic device. In this PROM we have the array of fixed AND gates and the array of programmable R gates. This is the block diagram of the PROM. In this, you can see the first block indicates the fixed AND array. Here it is the programmable R array. In, for this fixed AND array, we can apply n number of inputs. And from programmable R array, we can get m number of outputs. Here, when you see this block diagram, the inputs of AND gates are not programmable type. That means, with this fixed AND array, we can generate 2 power n product terms. To generate these 2 power n product terms, we have to use the n by 2 power n decoder. Six, since we are using the fixed AND array, so that each output of AND array indicates the mint of number. The next one is programmable R array. In this, the inputs of R gates are programmable. We can program any number of required product terms since all the outputs of AND gates are applied as inputs to each R gate. So we can program any number of inputs obtained from the fixed AND array since all the outputs of AND gates or min terms are applied as inputs to each R gate. So after applying these AND gate outputs to this programmable array, we will get the outputs in the form of sum of min terms. Now let us see one example regarding PROM. Implement the following Boolean functions using PROM. Here two Boolean functions has given a of xyz equal to sigma m567, b of xyz equal to sigma m3567. Okay, that nothing but the outputs of the PROM should be a and b. The inputs of PROM should be x, y, z. Now first we should identify which logic gates are fixed and which logic gates are programmable. Okay. As we know in PROM, AND gates are fixed and R gates are programmable. To get the min term numbers from this fixed AND array, we have to use the decoder circuit. Okay. The size of the decoder is n by 2 power n. This is the general formula where n is the number of inputs. 2 power n means number of min term numbers where n is the number of input variables used in Boolean functions. And 2 power n means the maximum number of min term numbers which are generated from n array logic. So here n means the total number of input variables should be 3. 3. 2 power n means 2 power 3. This means 3 into 8. This is the size of the decoder. Okay. Suppose if the Boolean function is having 4 inputs, then you should take it as the decoder size should be 4 into 2 power 4. This gives rise to 4 by 16. Okay. In this problem, only three input variables we have. So the size of the decoder is 3 by 8. From this 3 by 8 decoder, the number of outputs or min term numbers should be m0 to m7. Based on the number of Boolean functions, we have to select the number of R gates. Here only two Boolean functions we have, so that we have to use two R gates. The output of the R gates should be the name of the Boolean function itself. So here the first Boolean function name is A of x, y, z. That means A is the name of the Boolean function. So that the output is A for the first R gate. Similarly, for the second R gate, this is B. Okay, now we have to program these two R gates. First, we should take the connections from all min term numbers and then 
we should make the programming based on the required minimum numbers to get the outputs of A and B. Okay. So here, first we should draw the lines from each minimum number. And then we should take the input line for these two R gates with a single line. For the first R gate, the minimum numbers are 5, 6, 7. So that we have to program only the lines which are coming from these three minimum numbers to the first R gate through programming. Programming means we have to use the switches. Okay, cross mark indicates the switch. Okay, similarly for the second R gate also, the minimum numbers are 3, 5, 6, 7. So that we have to connect 3, 5, 6, 7 minimum numbers with this second R gate logic through switches. Okay, so this is the structure of the prom. The second type of PLD is programmable array logic. In this, you can see the block diagram. Here you can see the input device is programmable and array logic. The output device is fixed R array logic. And the number of inputs should be n inputs. And the total number of outputs obtained from these fixed R array should be m outputs. Here you can see for the first input logic device, programmable and array logic, the inputs of AND gates are programmable. That means each AND gate has both normal and complemented inputs of variables. And based on the requirement only, we have to program the inputs with the NDRA device. Next one, generate only the required product terms by using these AND gates. Regarding the output device, the fixed RARA logic, the inputs of R gates are not of programmable type. These are fixed type only. That means whatever you generate the outputs from these AND gates, so apply those required product terms to each R gate as inputs. And the outputs of PAL should be available in the form of Okay, sum of products form only, right? Let us see one example to understand this PAL. Let us implement the following Boolean functions using PAL. Here also two Boolean functions they have given. The given Boolean functions which are in the form of sum of the products form. Suppose in the given problem, if the given Boolean functions are in the form of minimum numbers, first you have to write the equivalent sum of the products form. Then only you should start your PAL structure. Okay. So here already they have given in sum of products form. Now we should use these two Boolean functions to develop the PAL. Okay. Here A and B, these two are outputs of the PAL so that two R gates are required and the outputs of the R gates should be A and B. And the input variables are X, Y, Z. And the array logic is programmable so that the inputs applied for these available in both normal and complement form. Okay. So first we should take the X, Y, Z in normal form with the straight lines. And through not gates, we should get the X dash, Y dash, Z dash. Now we have to programming these AND gates based on the requirement only. So to get the output of first AND gate X, Y, we have to program the input variables. Using cross marks, we have to program these inputs with this AND gate. Okay, the AND gate output is X, Y. Next one, X, Z dash. This is X, Z dash means this is the last line. So X, Z dash. So these two inputs should be applied to the AND gate. So the output of the second AND gate should be X, Z dash. Similarly, for B, X, Y dash, X, Y dash. Okay. Next, y z dash. This is y, this is z dash. Okay. So these are the required products obtained programmable AND gates. Now we should connect these product terms to these R logic gates based on the requirement only. Okay. Here a equal to x y plus x z dash. Only two product terms are summing. That's why we have to link these two product terms only for this first logic gate through dot symbol. Here R gates are following fixed logic so that don't use cross mark symbol, only you should use the dot symbol. Okay. Similarly, for B, the two product terms are x, y dash plus y, z dash. Okay. So only at this place we have to put dot symbol. Okay. Now, this is the output A and B. Now, the outputs of the PAL is A. That means A equal to x, y plus x, z dash and B equal to x, y dash plus y, z dash. So this is the structure of PAL. Okay. Next one, programmable logic array PLA. Okay, here both are programmable. AND gates and the R gates both are programmable only. And the number of inputs should be N inputs. And the number of outputs should be M outputs. Here you can see 
the first one is a programmable and array means the inputs of indicates are programmable that means we have to use both normal and complemented form of input variables and based on the requirement only depends on given boolean functions we have to program the inputs and generate the required product terms only based on by using these and gates okay next regarding the output device the, the inputs of or gates are also programmable and the program any number of required product terms based on the given boolean functions since all the outputs of and gates are applied as inputs to each or gate okay next one the outputs of pal will be in the form of sum of products form only not in the form of min term numbers okay let us see one example regarding PLA. PLA means first we should identify which logic gates are programmable and which are fixed. In this PLA, both are programmable only. Okay. Now we should start the process of implementing the Boolean functions with the PLA. In the first section, the, we should take the number of AND gates. The total number of AND gates required should be based on the number of product terms they have given in the given Boolean functions. Here, when you observe the given two Boolean functions, xy plus xz dash, these two are product terms for the A Boolean function, and xy dash plus yz plus xz dash. Here, we have three product terms for B Boolean function. When you observe these two Boolean functions, xz dash is common for these two, so that instead of taking the two AND gates separately, we should use the same AND gate to provide the xz dash output. Okay, so the total number of AND gates should be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, only 4 only instead of 5. Okay, that's why we should take the 4 number of AND gates. For these AND gates, we should apply the inputs both in normal and complement form. Based on the given product terms only, we should program the input variables to this AND gate. Okay. So, here the first product term is x y. Therefore, for the first AND gate, we have to program or switch the inputs x and y with cross marks. Similarly, x z dash. This is x, this is z dash. Okay. So, here it is x y, this is x z dash. Similarly, this is x y dash. Next one is y z only. Okay. Now, to get the outputs of PLA, A and B, we have to use only two R gates because two Boolean functions we have. Okay. For the first logic gate, we have to program the inputs obtained from the AND gates. For the first R logic gate, A equal to XY plus XZ dash. So that we have to program this input and this input only. Okay. Next, the output name is A. Similarly, for the second R logic, XY dash. So that this is XY dash. This is YZ. And one more is XZ dash. Okay. Here already we have XZ dash. So that, that we have to program this input also. And the output of the R logic is B. So this is the PLA structure. I hope you understand this topic very easily. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel, DLD Quest. If you have any doubts, please comment in comment box. Definitely I will help you. And what kind of topics or problems do you want in next videos? Please comment in comment box. Okay, thank you.